My name is Alan W. Black. Um, I'm a professor of computer science in the Language Technologies Institute here at Carnegie Mellon University. The types of things that we are interested in are um, processing text, online text, Twitter messages, email messages, but we also deal with speech. How can we understand a YouTube video, what it's about? How can we understand human conversations? And how can we get computers, robots to talk with humans so that they form a dialogue that doesn't seem silly but actually sounds natural? So um, I particularly work in the area of speech and trying to understand human speech. And speech is not like text, although you can make misspellings in text when we speak. There's a lot of redundancy in there, and humans are very good at understanding parts of information in speech. So I have a Scottish accent, but most people will understand that. But if I talk to a machine, it may not understand me because it's all been trained on standard American English, and lots of people don't speak that. And so we want to be able to understand not just their accent, but whether they're um, angry, happy, whether they're sad, whether they're being casual, whether they're being polite, and whether they're being technical and using words that might not normally appear in, in an open vocabulary. And so we'd like to be able to deal with how they communicate. And that's still a big issue on how to be able to deal with speech recognition. So to make artificial intelligence more human, we really need to start looking at how humans communicate. Now, we often think that an interaction with a machine is human speaks, machine speaks, human speaks, machine speaks. But actually, that never happens when humans are speaking. They interrupt each other. They give feedback. They go, mm-hmm, uh-huh, at the right time. They give encouragement. They look confused. And our machines don't do that at the moment. They just speak. And so what we'd like to be able to do is understand how to better communicate so that we can have interruptions, we can allow the human to speak, allow the machine to speak, allow to do corrections, allow to do grounding so that the machine and the person know what they're talking about and know that they're talking about the same thing with the same level of um, articulation and the right vocabulary so that both sides can understand the conversation. The thing that I love about Carnegie Mellon is the students. The students come from all over the planet. Um, it's a very international group. It's a very dedicated, interesting group. And the things that you can do in classes here are just very different from what I've seen elsewhere. There'll be people who know lots of different languages, who know lots of machine learning, who know lots of computer science. They can solve problems quickly. And so the teams you get in projects are just fascinating because you build on top of each other's knowledge and build something new.